one shaper 1000 here today I got a package in the mail yes it's shaper 1000 taped over the uh, personal information and we're going to get into this we're going to open it up and see what it is I know who it's from I kind of know what it is but I thought I'd share with you guys so let's check it out together Okay, this is from a subscriber of mine and friend, uh, Daniel Campbell. We'll open this up. got here here is a speaker I don't know if you guys okay. very well packaged you say he had two of them but he couldn't find find the other one so because he knew we needed speakers for the truck so awesome six by nine linear research cool all right so there's that what we got oh cool we got stuff here we have a notebook awesome so we have a notebook here and he told me he was sending this for monkey So this will be a surprise for her. I knew this was coming. So uh, he asked if she would, if she uses these. And I'm like, oh, she loves air fresheners. So this is cool. You plug it in. You put your little oil thing up in there. These things do smell nice, depending on what flavor or what scent you get. Um, so these are, this one's never been open, as you can see. Um, this is a little tape he wanted me to check, see if I had something that will play this tape. I think I do. Maybe I don't. I might... No, I might not... I might not have one. But I can figure out a way. We want to see what's on it, so... Um, I don't... I don't know if I have one that will play this or not. I'll have to check. I got several cameras but we'll have to see see what's uh, if not I'll I'll find a way that I can get the footage off here and see what's on this thing so it would be kind of interesting and these batteries Kodak batteries it's a digital camera battery two of them so he didn't have any use for them anymore or didn't have any use for them at all so he gave them to me, so that's pretty cool. Thank you, Daniel. And uh, I will check them and see if they're still good. I I've got some uses for batteries like this, or that I can build stuff that I can make these batteries work in. I got chargers and stuff, so that's pretty cool. So what else we got in here? And we got a carabiner. That will be nice to hang on to my backpack, hang stuff on. This is cool. There's the flint. Looks like the flint. Yeah, I would say that's flint. This is one of these uh, waterproof survival thingies. And here's the matches. Ha <laughs> cool. And like I said, there's the flint. It's taped in, so I would just glue it in, and then you take your match, and you go, whoosh, and you can put other stuff in here, too. You know, a little bit of cash or whatever. It's got that rubber seal, so these things are waterproof. So cool. All right. Well, thank you, Daniel, very much. 
This is awesome. I just wanted to bring you guys along and share this with you as well because I thought that was very nice of him to send us this stuff. He said if he finds the other one, he'll send it. <coughs> but those are those are nice grills. Pretty cool. But we do have, well, we had two speakers working in the front doors. Now, um, one of them is starting to go out completely. It's not working at all, and then you'll be driving down the road, and all at once it'll come on. So I'm going to be, as soon as I get the money, I'm going to put a good stereo system in it. I don't know. Um, I may have one, but what it is is I want to get one that will um, that I can plug a camera into for a backup camera so alright this is very nice thank you so much Daniel monkey's gonna love this thing so yeah I just want to bring you guys along and show this stuff to you that's pretty cool awesome this is cool here I can throw that in my backpack too I'll glue that little piece of thing on there it, you can, <coughs> excuse me you can tell it goes on the bottom there so that's gonna be cool in fact if that's a flint I can probably scrape it with my knife so I'll glue that on and then I'll keep this in my uh, in my backpack as well this will be handy to hang stuff off my pack so that's awesome and what I like about them is they're hunter orange so if I drop this it's it's not gonna be hard to find you know so all right guys there you go just thought I'd share it with you and this tape like I said I don't hmm does he showed me a picture and said you have something that will play these and I said um, I said probably no but see this hang on a second I'll, I'll show you something I'll show you what uh, the one I was thinking it was see from the picture it looked like one of these see it kind of kind of looks kind of looks similar but this one's real small I thought I had one if not I'll be on the lookout for one that I can play this in and we can see what's on it It looks to me like there's it's wound up some on that side, so it's it does someone was using it to record. So that'd be interesting. Always love uh, checking out old tapes and stuff. Remember that one camera had um, had wedding photos on it and baby pictures, and as the child grew up and stuff, um, different videos. So that's pretty cool. I still got that footage. So anyway, yeah, <clears throat> awesome. So. Thank you very much. Just thought I'd make a real quick unboxing video. That's very nice of you, Daniel. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining in the live stream last night. Okay, I'm filming the live stream. Thanks for everyone else. I did lose one subscriber on that live stream, so yeah. uh, I guess it wasn't up to par. <laughs> but remember, the animals, see a lot of those live streams you watch, they're actually like in a nature preserve. You know, this is not fenced in, so you can't predict when the animals are going to come to feed. Even if you put food out there every time, uh, every at the same time every night doesn't mean they're always going to come around the same time but there was a raccoon <clears throat> I quit streaming around three o'clock and I come out at four o'clock and uh, there was a coon back there when I went out to quit live streaming uh, I heard something in the bushes over there something in the bushes back there so that was probably coming in at that time so more than likely right after I shut that off he they came over and was eating, but he was out there at four o'clock and then he was out there again at six o'clock this morning. Yeah, I've been up all night. I've had about 20 minutes sleep. But 
Uh, so he was out there six o'clock this morning eating his breakfast. So, but you can never, you know, you can't, you can't guarantee that because it's. I mean, you know, I understand we're in a, a suburb division here, subdivision, what suburb, whatever. Uh, you know, there's houses around us and stuff. But still, it's kind of in the wild because, you know, like I said, these animals are not fenced in. So, they'll come when they want and they'll leave when they want. So, that's pretty cool, though. Uh, some of the stuff that happened on there was unexpected, uh, to say the least. Uh, I don't know what was going on. I don't know where the banging was coming from. I thought it might be my neighbor back there, but he wasn't out all night. So, um because sometimes he does come out and do some work, but you can hear him, you know, you know it's him. And he talks real loud, or he'll have music on or something. He wasn't out last night, so I don't know who or what that was, but it was pretty strange, so never heard anything like that back there before. You know, me and monkeys camped out, out back in the backyard many, many times, and never heard anything, but, you know, yeah, it's pretty weird. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shaver the Mint the Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, oh, uh, Brian and Marla sent Monkey a nice card in remembrance of Snickers. Because, you know, if you guys don't know, if you hadn't seen her video, anyway, her, her cat had passed away. She was like 17 years old or something. And she come climbing down a down out of a tree when she was like 10 weeks old or whatever just a kitten and she had her ever since then so she was pretty heartbroken but that's that's her behind us there and that white cat i don't know if you can see it so we had her cremated so so anyway um uh, and brian thanks for for that. that that was awesome appreciate that and uh, again thanks to everybody who watches my videos supports my channel Hope you guys have a great week and stay safe. We'll see you next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.